Hello everybody, welcome to Kids Gaming, I'm your host today back at again with some more in part where we're playing the Amazing Mod, Awakening of the Rebellion. Now, this is a sub-mod called, oh god, oh dear lord, Awakening of the Independence something rather? I honestly don't know, it's oh, Awakening of the Independences, Independencies, I don't really know, but it's a mod that adds in the ability to play as minor factions. Which is honestly something kind of fascinating that I've seen kind of delved into with some other sub mobs, but never like seriously. So I decided to play as the Corporate Sector Authority, which is kind of like one of the toughest pains in the butt to deal with. Sub mod, uh, not sub mod, uh, what do you want to call it? The sub factions, be as the as the rebellion, when you take over this sector, they start becoming a problem. I feel like the Hapes Consortium is more of a problem for the Empire because I never really try to hold on to these planets. Not really, not seriously. And uh, Hut Faction, they're just kind of there. <laughs> I've never actually been attacked by them yet. I've kind of only been the one doing attacking. They're not really too much of a pain to deal with. But I'm playing this Corporate Sector Authority also because it adds the ability to craft droid chips, which I'm all about. Okay, first of all, let's just get right into it. Heroes, what's our fleet composition looking like? Oh, man, that's interesting. There doesn't appear to be a tech system? Question mark? Do I see that again? No, it's a bit stuff like that. What is this? Tech tree. Yeah, there's no tech tree. Interesting. Anyway, what's this trying to tell me? I don't know what this trying to say. Anyway, there's no tech tree, which I kind of get, honestly, because you're a minor faction, right? Pretty much the tech you have is the tech you're going to always have, plus it seems kind of unreasonable from a playing standpoint to make you have to also have a tech walls, because as it is, you're going to be dealing with less planets anyway, so you're going to kind of not want to jump through any more hoops because your income is already going to be extremely low. Like, if I go to, say, droid log. Wait, history? History. Economy. We're not even on here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we're, I, we really are some faction. We're not even on the economy scale. Okay. Uh, let's move this here. Let's start consolidating our fleet. I don't actually know what our fleet's gonna look like. Close ground. Let's consolidate our fleet really quick. I kind of don't know what to expect from this fleet. It's because I don't know what anything does. Okay, we're going to immediately move everything that doesn't go there over to here. That's how I do it. Okay. Pause. What does this fleet look like? Oh. Ooh, invincibles. This is like legitimately one of my favorite ships in Clone Wars that I don't really see outside of mods but this is like a really cool I really love this ship it just like gives such a beefy look even though it's not particularly strong it's still a picket ship which I never really got because it's a I think uh what uh what's it called uh the expanded uh, Fall of the Republic expand Empire War expanded. They make this kind of like a missile boat almost. What do you have? Admiral Shields. I have also hired NSA. This Victory One class Star Destroyer. Okay. And do you have a Victory One class Star Destroyer? Okay, so you guys are gonna have some decent artillery. That's pretty good. Um, we're gonna need some capital ship power because this. These two are technically capital ships, plus we have, I guess we have technically four capital ships in this fleet. So what is this missing? 48. Fighters. Do you give us fighters? Does not appear that you do, do you? What's your fighter complement? IRD, one skip ray. One IRD, one more pod squadron, one arc squadron. I'm gonna need to look up what that even means. One IRBD squadron, do you give us fighters? Squadron size 2. Oh, you're a gunship, never mind. 
You give us beaming squadrons. You don't give us any. You don't give us any. You also do not get us any. Okay. Also, do we have two? You're a hunter. You're a screener slash hunter. Interesting. Um, let's figure out what all this is. This is a planetary... I assume what was referenced here. The... IRD? What is IRD? Planetary Defender Squadron. War Pod. Heavy Fighter. Cutting Laser. This is our... Well, we have carriers already. Endurance carriers. Okay, planetary defenders, arc squadrons. I don't know. It must not be a craftable fighter. Skip rays. We need bombers. And we need fighters. That's kind of what I'm getting. You are a interceptor slash support. Let's get a couple of heavy fighters in this mix too. And then you will be our cap. Ooh. Interesting. What do you command? Dauntless commands a dauntless. God, I'm gonna get roasted alive. I don't remember what a Dauntless is. Uh, commands a Luger Hulk. Oh, that's tempting. That's real tempting. Command ship. Something tells me that this is gonna fare well better against that ability to prevent them from reposition and retreating. So effectively a star destroyer. <laughs> Uh, probably is compared to, to Imperial Star Stars, yeah. Plus, a decent fighter squadron. Okay. I might have this be the centerpiece of our fleet. Alright. Let's focus the rest of the 11,000 onto ground infrastructure. So we have fighter tanks, infantry fighting vehicle, anti light armor, frontline infantry. Okay. And here, let's go to ground so I know how to build what we can build here. We have Juggernaut Companies. Okay, good. What are technically Juggernauts? What's their role? They are Breakthrough Armor Personnel Carrier. What is Breakthrough again? I'm gonna need to look all this stuff up. Uh, what is it? Ground rules. Main battle tank, Breakthrough, Breakthrough. Where is it? It's not. I might be just missing it. Engineering scout, strike for ground bomber, infantry rolls. I must just be missing it. Breakthrough must just be. In, they can just break through stuff. I assume get past the barricades easily because they're faster moving vehicles. I don't know. I don't actually see it. Okay. You actually, I assume, have a droid factory. Don't have a droid factory like anywhere right even here yeah we don't have a droid factory what does this actually give us also who are you infantry commander this gives us nothing what are you flame espo troopers okay i assume this is where we would recruit no barracks Simple barracks. Let's get a simple barracks. Do I even have a simple barracks? I do. But it seems it can't be upgraded past a simple barracks, so that's kind of lame. Although, a simple barracks seems to give us tier 2 troopers. We don't appear to have a cheap throwaway unit. Okay, so let's look through our vehicles here. Anti-personnel, disabler, tank destroyer, you are light tank, Main battle tank. Break the... What? Oh, okay, direct artillery. You, close air support. You're just a probe droid. You're a scouts. Break through armor personnel carrier. Light tank. So I assume... Anti-infantry. Anti and you are just a... Transport. Okay. Um... So let's get into a quick fight here. Let's take out an independent faction, or at least start moving our troops to be able to take out an independent faction. Don't actually know how strong that's going to be, so let's actually test out the probe droids here. 
Do I have anything that's not building anything on the ground? I do. So let me help you up. And you are non-combat. Okay, you're, a, you're an officer. That seems to take a minute. Do we have... That'd be a good question. Do we have any missions? I don't actually know how advanced this mod is, like what development phase, or if there's even missions planned, but that's something I would probably want to see in this mod pack. I don't know, I haven't seen anything. What are you? Uh, provide stun. Okay, so you're a stunner. Okay. And it'll be nice to know what the droid works give us, because we have an entire section of troops, it appears, that we haven't even seen. Plus, it'd be good to get our economy off the ground immediately. It's so, like... How many can I build a planet? I can only build two, so let's just get that immediately off the line as soon as possible. Thing seems to be taking a minute. That's kind of weird. Maybe I'm just not used to. Also, why are you moving here? I mean, I don't mind because it's better to do that anyway. But I don't know why you're moving. <laughs> okay, spy. Start getting us fighters. Also, I don't know when I'm gonna have come out of hyperspace. Ah, uh, let's got good sense range. You, cause you got arcs. Hello, lag. Like, okay, there we go. Am I building? Yeah, I'm building the toggle destroyer there. I'm building that there. So this will give us a list of troops here, so it'll be good to see, because kind of, what all you add. Okay, you add this and that. Pause. Let's have a quick look around at the gal what the galaxy's doing. I imagine not too much, it's only week two. I'm gonna just... Okay, we have eyes. Ooh, yikes. Not an insignificant fleet here. Not something I think we can't take, at least in the air. I suppose two on the ground, because you're just frontline infantry. You guys got some decent stuff. You're not entirely defenseless. But I think we can, cause just because we have an, a mass amount of capital ships in this fleet, I think we can just kind of demolish you guys. Not to say that you ain't going to do any damage to us. You probably will. I don't know if you'll be able to kill anything, but you're not entirely a threat that can be written off yet. You got 22 versus, so we technically do outnumber you, at least popcat wise We actually have capital ships. I think we can defeat this. Let's see. All right, let's get this battle started. Okay, so I kind of know where they are. They're top right. It's good info to have. Also, is this just... Yeah, this is just the Imperials model, I assume. I don't... I don't know enough to know if this is a different model. Oh, that's right. Do you give us arcs? Yeah, you give us arcs. Okay, good. Wait. You... You're the same... I'm gonna have to look at all these, because I haven't... Also, wow, why was my mouse on screen? That was weird. I haven't seen any of these ships, pretty much. That's a pretty model. And you, I've seen you before. I've seen you in a campaign before. I think I got you for a mission or something. Move out this way. Move out ahead. Give us scouting. Be prepared to bring in. Actually, just move to here. I'm not actually too terribly worried about this fleet because they're independent, so they can't retreat. So I might just go all in, like, bring out the victories. Actually, technically, yeah, I didn't even put, take into account the victories when I was thinking about the fleet composition. What the hell are we shooting? Whoa, whoa, take a minute. Are you modified? You have to be modified. Artillery rocket? I've never seen this rocket before. Whoa, ha, okay, that's, and it's only shooting at the, 
Is this an anti-fighter rocket that we now have access to? Question mark. I saw that and I legitimately thought it was a little girl for a second. That legitimately gave me a heart attack for like two seconds. Alright, so she's going. So these things are terrible. <laughs> it seems. The Alpha Strike. Okay. J Whoa! Let us take a minute. Did I miss an update? I just played the game. I did not notice any of these new visuals. Are these only for the Corporate Sector 30? These look awesome. These legitimately look so cool. I don't know if this is... In that looks so cool. I must have missed an update or something to Awakening the Rebellion that changed the, how everything kind of looked. Or I didn't notice it or something. It's gonna bring everybody out. I'm gonna bring you guys out in the back. I don't think I'm gonna use you. Are you technically frigate? Yeah, you're not actually a Corvette. Okay, take a pauser. What the fresh hell are you? <laughs> I'm fighting things I'd never- wait. Aren't you technically the Mandalorian ship? No, you're not the Mandalorian ship. You just kind of look like it. Okay, let's consolidate some fleets real quick. Or some stuff real quick. Uh... Let's keep you guys... As group... One... Kind of start going after these guys. Are you technically heavy fighters? Yes, you are. So let's actually keep you with the viewings and go after these guys. While these break off and finish your fight with them, I actually want you to continue your fight with them just so they're not chasing. Also, I'm loving the new missile models. That looks so- <gasps> A missile jam? That's overpowered. Okay, that's a bit overpowered for a victory to have a missile jam. That might just be my opinion, but that seems a tad overpowered. I don't know, yeah, because I'm not using it. Oh, you are technically a missile boat. Interesting. Also, I'm loving the lasers. Oh my god, it was just straight up different lasers. That is so cool. Full salvo. Star Trek. Oh, oh my god. Blue lasers. I knew that they were... This looks so cool. This legitimately looks so cool. Here, let us get a screenshot with the Invincible. Why don't you actually turn and engage so you get... That, that would be such an awesome screenshot. Pause. Start missile jamming. Yeah, that's too much. That's that seems like a bit too much for a low grade capital ship to do. Oh, I missed the explosion. I wanted to get the explosion. Let's take multiple just in case this screenshot doesn't work. Okay, I want you guys to immediately Focus on the engines. Our artillery ships, I'm loving the missiles. And now that I kind of think about it, those kind of look similar to missiles I've seen. I just haven't played the game for a month. I don't actually know. By the way, having these ships here and having a lot of missile ships, pretty much, dear god, you're, you're almost gone. That's a little messed up. Also, how's our fighters doing? Decently. Get over here, get into the fight. In group three. Start doing stuff to them. Also, you can missile jam? That's pretty decent. In group two. Start dealing with this, please. Or the bombers, please. Thank you. Okay, so you just have assault missiles for days. Is effectively what you're telling me. Also, you might have full self, so that might help. Get rid of that. T 
Just the rockets. Dear Lord, just the pure rockets. Also, do you also have rockets? Yeah, of course you have rockets. You're bombers. Go in here. Also, I love the skip rays in this game. I love the models, um, and particularly in this one. The bombs don't look any different, do they? No, they look kind of the same. Having this amount of bombers is kind of just detrimental to this entire fleet's composition of unshielded ships. So they're just kind of getting wrecked here. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for them. I don't even think they really stood a chance. Except for our poor fighters that are way out here just getting eaten up. Why don't we go over there and help them? <laughs> are you even a screener variant? No, yeah, you're the screener variant. Get over there and help them. What do you actually look like? Oh, you look adorable. Oh, I love that model. That just, that looks adorable. Also, I just love this ship. It's like a tiny little Star Destroyer. <laughs> Just look at this thing. Let's do let Freakram do with its thing for a minute here. Let's see what it does, has to do. Is that it? Did we win? Why are we still shooting at? Oh, is it just these guys? Is that it? What's shooting? Yeah, okay. Let's have a look at it cinematic camera. See if we get lucky with a good screenshot. Not really, it's just a bunch of dogfighting. I'm like waiting, my fingers on the, the, F, the F12 button, I'm ready to go. In case we get a really good screenshot. Nah, I don't think we're gonna get one. Let's just focus on the battle here. Um, group 2. Hello? Oh, hi. You're a problem. Go deal with it, please. I wonder how you guys look going into battle. Why don't you guys kind of group up and start immediately going after these guys? The explosion, something definitely changed with everything. It looks so much crisper now. I love it. The, the rockets look so intimidating now. They look so intimidating. How did I not notice this before? There's got to be a difference between this mod, the sub mod, and everything else. There has to be. Also, your guys' laser weapons are overpowered. Or they look overpowered. They look so cool. I want to see them fire off. So I can take a screenshot, please. Can you, sh can you shoot your weapons? The thing that make you special? That's kind of lame. That's a lame screenshot. Okay. We did lose one of these, actually, so do that. Engage here. Engage here. I think that's it after this? Yeah, we see the whole map. We see them engaging here. I don't know if this is actually an independent faction, but they're getting eaten up, so I don't need to worry about that. Just everybody focus on one dude. We are victorious, yay! This mod is legitimately fun. <laughs> it's fun fighting with such obscure ships because I'm like completely thrown off the deep end again. That's kind of neat that I was like completely not knowing what to do anymore. <laughs> But the models look, I, I assume they're models from the game already, but they look amazing. I think maybe the, the, whatchamacallit, the sensor jam on a victory is a bit too powerful. I don't know if that's a base game hero. I don't think it is, but that just seems like a might bit too powerful. I don't actually know if it's a in base game, but even if it was in base game, that's a bit powerful. <laughs> For a cap, a cap, I consider Victory's capital ships, for a capital ship to have that ability is a little crazy because then it can basically just say nope to the main weapon to kill capital ships, which is bombers. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave that one here. If you guys want to see more of this uh, mob, please mob, 
mod? I can't speak apparently. If you guys want to see more of the sub mod, please click the like button and comment down below if you want to see more of this. I would love to play more of it, honestly. Like, this seems fun. It seems kind of fun to be thrown out of my depths and honestly put into this severe of a disadvantage of not having this income, this income which is terrible. Not like 4,000 or 5,000 right off the bat, just immediately terrible. That's like such a, that's such, throws such a hardball because pretty much these forces, I have unlimited tech, but the forces I do have matter because I don't have the money to replace them at all. So I have to keep this little fleet alive. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.